Hi, I'm Mark Varagis from Kingdom City, and I'm speaking to you today from Perth, Australia. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3 says, Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. This is the effect of the earlier well-known verse, to arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. That nations would come to our light and kings to the brightness of our dawn is stunning. It's the norm for us to go to nations, but the promise is that nations will come to us. Never does a king leave his throne And if a king would even ever give us an audience, it would be our privilege and expense to go to him. Yet the promise is that nations will come to us and kings to the brightness of our dawn. This is an extreme reminder that we don't have to chase what God wants to bring to us. There are many promises in scripture that we possess by pursuing them. Ask and you receive, seek and you find, knock and the doors open. But equally, there are times where we are to receive rather than be active. We are to be still rather than to pursue. Don't pursue goodness and mercy. It should follow you all the days of our life, according to Psalm 23, the Lord's your shepherd. Don't chase all these things. According to Matthew 6, these things shall be added unto us when we seek first the kingdom. I don't have to chase influence or pursue favor. I just need to arise and shine. Light doesn't need to strive. It just needs to shine. And when we radiate the light of God in all that we do, So much of what we normally chase will be magnetized in our direction. Ask God for grace to arise and shine in the midst of the dark surroundings. The world isn't a dark place, and even nations and kings are looking for answers. We carry the answer in Jesus, and His presence simply shining is more effective than ourselves shouting. Influence and favor are simply the byproduct. Don't exhaust yourself today by chasing what God wants to bring to you. Let your light shine today. And watch what comes your way.